Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Union Cross. So I know I'm a little late on all these. I've been doing my 11 hour shifts and when I do 11 hour shifts, it basically just takes up my whole entire day. Well, it's almost half a day, <laughs> not including sleeping and all the other stuff you guys are supposed to be doing. So I'm going to do three metal spotlights in this one video. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mind. It's a little late. I do have these videos up and most of them still relate to these metals, but it's a little bit different now that Kyrie EX is in the game. So I'm going to go over all three of them and also I got a trait reroll. Um, on some of these because I got raid damage or I got a bad guilt. So hopefully this turns out pretty good for me um, We'll start off with Axel. Axel, uh, the metal spotlight for this right here. Axel B Basically, again, for any attack metal, if you guys have Kyrie X in the game Kyrie X being copied or multiple copies of Kyrie X You can basically get away with not using negative 60 traits on your metals anymore Because if you multiply, if you uh, copy Kyrie X multiple times you can stack that general defense down buff and negative 60s aren't as needed unless you're going to call Um Everything else, you really don't need negative 60 traits if you're using Kyrie X in every single setup. So, if you don't have Kyrie X or you don't have a way to get general defense down up to like 6 or 7, then yeah, negative 60 traits are always going to have a huge part in this game. But again, if you can make a Keyblade setup where you're full of general defense down, then you're pretty much set and you should focus on plus 1000 for your trait. That's going to go for all three of these metals. Um, and for Axel B's skill, uh, since, he, since he only has one gauge cost, you can really put anything on here. Attack boost 4 max, attack boost, uh, attack boost 5 max. You don't need to use a attack boost max with the SP gauge, not necessary. It inflicts more damage to lower the slot number. So he is a damage dealer that is also a buffer because he raises your power strength by three tiers for one turn. But taken to another consideration here, guys, he is random and there is not that many random metals in the game, especially buffers. So a metal like this will help you so much if you keep two copies separate because that's a time six buffer. Also, this metal deals 11 hits, which is incredibly good for Proud Mode Quest 160. You can use them as a buffer in the beginning of your Keyblade, and even though you're using a Magic Keyblade during Quest 160, you can put them on your pet slot. Uh, sorry, you can put a Power Metal on your pet slot, or a bunch of Power Metals that have negative 60s on them, and do some damage that way. I know that this is not going to buff your Magic setup that's on your Keyblade, but if you have a strong... Uh, power metal that does over eight hits this metal will buff it and that's why i say keep two copies because proud mode 160 needs two copies to get that time six strength buff unless you got super lucky and you got extra attack uh then you got extra attack and you can pretty much use one metal and other metals to you know do damage so really good for quest 160 really good for quests that say only random attack metals he's a good buffer keep that in consideration if you can't guilt them keep them separate just my advice <clears throat> as for the multiplier 3.56 is pretty good for a tier 3. You, once you get 100% guilt, you're looking at a 7.12, which is not amazing, but it's not uh, terrible at the same time, especially if you got nothing else. All right, so enough of the talking. Let's try to get that raid damage off mine and hopefully get 100% guilt. Now, I don't want raid damage on this. I want that plus 1,000 because I do have the Kairi X in my game. If I see negative 60, that's pretty good too. And if I can get 100% on this, I'd also be really happy. So there's roll number one. Roll number one is... Extra attack. I'll take extra attack anytime. A time six buffer in one metal is incredible, but again, I have Kyrie X, so it doesn't really matter for me. But for you guys, um, if he's not your damage dealer, you don't need plus 1000, you don't need negative 60s. Keep that extra attack if he's not a damage dealer and he's a buffer. But he, again, he does both. Because he has to be early on the Keyblade, he'll do your job. So, max HP. Most likely, I'll be keeping the extra attack um, just for. I guess anything, because the medals I have in my game now, I don't need this medal as an attack medal. And if I really want him as an attack medal, I'll copy him. <laughs> but for now, I think I'm going to stick to the extra attack, uh, definitely for my type of game. Later on, if you guys don't need him anymore, yeah, extra attack will be really good as a buffer. But for anyone new or anyone lacking in power reverse, this is a good way to get some damage in there. Strength 1000, again, I could use him for that, but I feel like the extra attack is more valuable. But at the same time... I got all the buffers I need. So you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go for the plus 1,000. Because plus 1,000, again, if you don't have carry X, that's what you guys want to see. So <laughs> there you go. I know some situation I'm going to need like a time 6 buffer and I just ruined myself there. But I did complete all of Proud Mode today. So I, I think I'm still good. So that's Axel B's Metal Spotlight. Obviously, Keyblades are anything with the reverse power that's in the beginning. Something like Dark Knob, really good. Or anything 
you can put him in any slot as long as he's just your buffer and not an attacker. Most likely he will be just a buffer, so you can put him in the beginning of the first three slots. Put him somewhere there, he's not going to do damage, but he will buff your other metals that do damage. So that's Axel B, let's jump into Psyx B. Now this guy right here is a powerhouse. Even at tier 3, this is a multiplier of 12.82. Now it's a random attack, again. There's a lot of quests where you only can use random metals and there's not that much in the game, but you guys did get to them right now. So, not only does this guy just hit like a tank, he also deals those 12 hits. So, this plus the Axel, you guys can do Proud Mode 160 very easily. Axel in the beginning and then Sykes B on your pet slot and you will decimate that quest easily. That's the only two medals you need and like a Joshua of SP Gauge 1. Or just a bunch of defense medals to survive and a way to restore your SP. So, really good for proud mode again. Uh, you definitely want to get this guy guilted. If he's not guilted, don't worry about it too much. But even guilted right now as a tier 3, a 12.82 multiplier when you're facing a single target, that's incredible damage. This metal is still viable, still very strong, still very good to use. And especially if you copy him, incredible damage guys. So... The condition for this though is inflicts more gauges are full. So you got to make sure you have 10 SP or more or he's not going to do his full potential. So remember that if you're not doing 10 SP or more on your Keyblade, you're only doing the 4.36, which is in total an 8.72. So 8.72 all the way to a 12, that's a big loss in damage. So make sure the Keyblade you're using has lots and lots of SP on it, especially when you activate him. So with that being said, you need something like I have here, Attack Boost 3 Max SP Gauge 1. As for the traits... The traits are not raid damage. I don't want to raid. So, again, just like the other one, negative 60s and definitely plus 1,000 for my count. So, hopefully, I get that plus 1,000 because it's exactly what I want on all my medals now since I have Kyrie X. Aerial negative 60. I'll take that. Um, if you do have to choose between negative 60 aerial, negative 60 ground, I would go for ground because there's a lot of mini bosses that are speed and having a negative 60 ground will be incredible for you so hopefully you guys get negative 60 ground if not aerial or plus 1000 if you have that carry x so <clears throat> knowing my luck i'm probably not going to get this plus 1000 but i'm gonna try anyways hopefully i do land on this come on paralysis resist at least i got a negative 60 at least i got rid of that raid damage i'm happy about that here's my last chance uh my metal's already fully guilty because i use this for so much before i got better metals and even so max gauges oh that sucks Alright, negative 60. I'm okay with that. But yeah, even so, I can still use this metal and I still do use this metal because it is very strong. So, last metal on this metal spotlight is going to be Demix here. Now, my Demix is at 80% and this is the bad guilt I was talking about, but he does have the trait I want. So, with this guy, he's not as strong as all the other organization members, but he's pretty good. A 7.86 multiplier is a decent multiplier, especially reverse... Uh, a reverse magic one. Now that we have the Trick Master, not as important because Trick Master outclasses this highly. But if you guys miss the Trick Master and you have this, and for some reason you're going to guilt this, don't guilt this. It's just, this metal is just here now for... It's really good for Proud Quest 160 as well if you guys have it guilted. So if you do get plus 1000 on that or some negative 60 trait, it's going to help you so much in that quest. Put him at the end of the Keyblade for Proud Quest 160 so you guys can pass it. So if you do guilt him, he's the one who's going to do that damage for you. But so will the Trick Master now. Actually, no, the Trick Master only does a single hit, so you can't use him on Proud Quest 160. So yeah, he's one of your op options to use as a free-to-play player. So, uh, skills, 4 gauges, attack boost max with SP gauge. He is an attack metal, not a defensive metal. And uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about this guy. <laughs> he's pretty straightforward. So let's see if I can get a better guilt on him. So, plus 1000s with Elkyrie X, negative 60s for everything else, especially Coliseum. 80% again, and Aerial negative 60. Again, me personally, I have Kairi, so I'm going to keep the plus 1000s. And everyone else who doesn't have good general defense down, put those negative 60s in. Okay, what do we got here? We got 80% again. <laughs> that really sucks. I should wait for a Guilting campaign, but... You know what? I'll save the one for the Guilting campaign, like I did before. I'll just save one because if it doesn't move from 80, it's not going to move from 80. I'm not taking the chance. All right. So plus 1,000. I'll overwrite that. Yes, thank you very much. That is pretty much for all three of them. Um, all good medals, especially if you're new. If you can guilt them, guilt them. But don't use Fantasia Mickey B's. The only one I would recommend Fantasia Mickey B on is Psyx B because Psyx B is definitely a heavy hitter. And 
I know using Fantasia making bees on metals like this is not uh, ideal, but if you have nothing else that's doing damage or as much as that multiplier, he's a really good metal, guys. Really, really good. So I'm going to go to Keyblade Setups, and we're going to do a quick setup right here. I'm going to put each one into this slot, and we're going to test them out. Uh, basically, Psyx B, that's the one I want to show off the most because, like I said to you, very good metal. The other one's Axel. Axel's going to go right here. I know he's not going to do damage, but again, he fits. Or I'm going to switch him right there. And like that. There you go. So Axel basically has to go in the beginning so he can buff your power medals. Now, I know there's no other power medals on here, but these are the three slots you want to put them so he can buff everybody else. And as for uh, Demix over there, I'm going to grab Demix right now, and we're going to put him in the pet slot. I don't know if we're going to reach that far, but if we do, we'll show off some damage. I'll take that out, and yeah, there we go. Okay, let's jump into a quest. Uh, Demix, Diamond Dust, uh, Moogle Glory, and uh, there's another one, but really, Diamond Dust is like the best bet for all your reverse magic medals right now. But I know he's a, it's in a far proud mode, so Moogle Glory is the other one you guys can use. So we are going to go into... Let's go into a speed one. Now, I know Demix not going to do any damage, but Ax, I mean, Sykes B will. So, we're going to go into this one, bring in whatever we want to bring, and just show off what the metals look like activating their specials. <clears throat> My throat's killing, to, killing me today, guys. And I got to go to work in about 20 minutes. So, there's Axel's. Axel's attack's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I do love their animations. They're very, very unique animations. Well, not unique. They're very cool. And here's Sykes B. Sykes B is just a bunch of flashes, man. Like, it's crazy insane. If you saw something something coming towards you attacking like that, I'd be scared shitless. So, and Demix does have one of the coolest ones, too. The whole uh, upwards water sprout. It's really awesome. I love it. So, that's the three medals. As you guys saw, Sykes B did an incredible amount of damage. Let's do it one more time. This is showed off again. There's all the flames going down. And of course, Kyrie EX putting all the buffs we need here. It's not an upright strength buff going towards Sykes B. It's the negative... And the positives that are going to affect this metal. And you guys can see 102,000 per hit is beautiful damage. Like, let me see. That is 12 hits, guys. Over a million damage easily. This metal is just destructive. Especially if you get Illustrated Shion EX. This metal will do even more damage. And again, random metals are rare. So that's pretty much for the whole metal spotlight. Um, I don't think I missed anything. The Keyblades just... The only metals that don't matter in this metal spotlight is Axel B. He can sit in the beginning, even on an offset Keyblade slot. He does not have to be on a power slot at all. He's just there to buff. The other two, just mash the Keyblade uh, with the the, <laughs> the metal itself, like reverse power for Sykes B. Put him on a reverse slot because he is damage dealer. Or the pet slot because the pet slot uses everything. So that's pretty much everything, guys. Um, hopefully this wasn't uh, too rushed. I got to leave for work in about like 20 minutes. So I am short on time, but hopefully this reaches you before the night ends. If it doesn't, I'll see you guys in like eight hours. <laughs> so if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.